Hey there everybody and welcome back to another Blender tutorial. In this one I'm going to show you how to make three-dimensional clouds that are not a smoke simulation but rather they're objects with a special uh, volumetric shader. Uh, so we can actually take this cloud and duplicate it, we can rotate it, move it around, make it bigger, make it smaller. Uh, that is up to you. Uh, if this is interesting to you, keep watching. It's actually super basic to make this. And I'm also going to mention that my Curvify Asset Pack has a cloud creation tool where you just draw a curve and it makes clouds. Check that out in the description. But now, uh, let me show you how to make a cloud. So, in the shading workspace, where this is actually going to be basically all a material, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a material applied to this cube. And now in the shading workspace, what we're going to do is we are going to apply a coordinate system to the volume. So I'm going to use object coordinates in the volume. You're going to see nothing here. This is because we have to be in rendered mode and uh, preferably we're going to be in cycles here. And you can see that we have our object coordinates, our X, Y, Z going to positive and negative as a volume that we can actually see through. Okay. Uh, to make a cloud, we're going to basically manipulate these coordinates until they're kind of like a fluffy ball, okay? So the first thing to do is we're going to run this through a vector math node set this to a length. And this is going to output the length or the magnitude of each of the points inside this cube. Um, in other words, in the middle, it's going to have a value of zero. And as we go outwards, the length or the magnitude of these vectors are going to become greater and greater and greater, uh, which is why we kind of have a white shell here. Uh, I want to turn this into a ball. So I'm going to send, send this through a map range node and invert this. So instead of zero to one, we make this one to zero. Um, in other words, now in the center where the uh, vector math would have output at zero, we have a density of one and then it expands, 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 and gets weaker until it goes to zero. Uh, so we have a sphere here. Uh, notice if we go to edit mode and change this cube, um, it's not gonna affect anything because it's just a shader. Additionally, uh, to make this look more like a cloud, I'm gonna send this through a multiply by one, 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 and I can stretch this on the X or the Y or the Z axis, but I'm gonna stretch it on the X axis so we kind of have this um, ellipsoid looking ball. Okay, so when this is set to one, we have a sphere. And as I decrease this value, it's going to stretch this. Now the final piece that's going to take this uh, and turn it into a cloud is actually going to be adding some noise to this. So I'm going to use a noise texture with these object coordinates. And uh, what I'm going to do is before we input this into the length, I'm going to mix this. And you can either set this to color or to vector. Vector probably makes more sense to you. Um, I'm going to mix this with a noise texture. Actually, forget what I just said. We do need to set this to color. Um, so I'm going to mix these two together. Um, I'm going to make sure to set this to linear light. That's kind of the secret sauce here. And connect this here. And you're going to see it's going to distort our ellipsoid. So again, we mix this with some noise, again, using object coordinates for the noise. Uh, set this to linear light, and here we have a thing. It doesn't look too good, but we can reshape this. So I'm going to take the scale and bring it down. Uh, this makes it so that there's less uh, high frequency detail like there was before. We can take the detail itself and bring it upwards. This just adds a bit of crispness to the edges. and to finally turn this into like a volumetric looking cloud. We take everything we've done so far and send it through a principled volume. So this is going to be the density of our principled volume, which you can't really see because it's very sparse. Uh, so we can take this map range and bump it up to 100. This will make it 100 times as dense. So here you can see we have a nice cloud. Uh, to make it look more white, uh, what I would recommend is actually changing the lighting of the scene. So I'm just going to add an HDRI, make that like five times brighter. And let's actually also hide this. And we can make the color of the cloud closer to white. And this is going to give us a nice fluffy volumetric cloud. If it looks a bit too dense, by the way, uh, you can just take the density and bring it down a bit. That will soften it. Uh, you can even soften it even more until it's very wispy. But I'm going to keep it pretty high. And um, there you go, that's essentially our cloud. So you really wanna just play with this uh, noise value uh, to get the kind of cloud that you want. Uh, you can even add some distortion, which will kind of like, kind of swirl around our cloud as well. Um, and one thing I do wanna mention here, I would be remiss to not mention this, is we can add a vector math node 
and kind of do this offset to generate new clouds. Um, another way to do this is you set this to four dimensional and then just change the seed and it's gonna give us a new cloud for every seed. Um, notice that we can duplicate this, scale it, rotate it, and uh, if you wanna sh change the shape of the cloud itself, uh, remember we have this vector math uh, that does exactly that. And you can get all kinds of different clouds. So there you go, uh, that is how you make clouds in the shader editor. Uh, here's the material. Um, hopefully this helped, and again, uh, Curvify, link in the description if you are interested. Thank you for watching.